We're back with album review. So what have you got for us, Jake? I don't mind it. That's a, what's the album <laughs> called? Thunder Point Road by Thomas fucking Rhett. Thunder Point Road. Thomas right. fucking Rhett. Thomas fucking Rhett. That is his name. Yeah. Do you have any context no, behind this guy? Uh, he's a country guy. I don't know. All right. Well, I guess we're just jumping right into this one. He, he <laughs> makes like the like loving songs and stuff. He like, makes pop country music. Kind of. Yeah, something like common that. Common genre of country music. Yeah. Yeah. The album Pretty came much. out in 2019. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's we all you did got. it. We did playlist roulette. It popped up because my girlfriend put it, the entire album on my fucking playlist. So that's why we we're listening to it. All right. Um, anyway, what is the first album? Yeah, the what's song? the first the album? First, what's the first song? Oh, what's the first album? Not um, the first album. Yeah. First song is up. Really? This one's not bad though. No, this one like they all have like a certain vibe. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Look, you, I'm it, not gonna lie. It's like a chiller kind of country. Uh, it. It was just like th- this. This sounded like nothing to me. It felt like <laughs> this is just radio noise. Yeah. Like it was like I was listening to static, as if this is just like background. Like I did not pick up any single one of these songs. All my notes oh. for, for this song were just meh, generic pop country songs. Yeah. Okay. Like that is how okay. I'll describe this. This and pretty much all. There's only one song I think I genuinely remember, like well. Right. But. Uh, what's after up? Yeah. Uh, Don't threaten me with a good time. With this one's, little big town. This one. This one's also not feature. bad. Who is a little big town? I'm fucking. Man. Yeah, I don't know who like most of the features are on this album. They're I don't probably know. midgets in a big town. I don't know. What? Uh, little big town. This right. one was. This one was also not bad Super though. Poppy. Yeah. Very poppy. This whole album is a very poppy country sound. More poppy, I'd say, than country. Yeah. Aside from a few select tracks. I also put on track two right about now. Jake is regretting picking this. <laughs> <laughs> this it's you know you know what it is. It sounds like what it's supposed to sound like. Yeah. So what's the next track? Hold on. Blessed. No, uh, I actually like this one. This one's okay. This one's alright. It's better than the first two, I'd say. Yeah, okay. So this is where it actually starts getting. I like a the little, little guitar better. accents in the background. At least it's trying to have a certain sound to it. Yeah. There is a few tracks to try, like, different sounds other than just, like, generic country sound. Yeah. But, yeah, alright. Yeah, I'm sorry. Not, not bad. Yeah. Next song. Uh, Local God Gave Her. This one's a little more upbeat. This, this one is, I think I actually have heard. This one's the big hit. Yeah, this one yeah. is definitely a big hit I've heard before. Yeah, yeah this one so. is. This one, and... This one's alright. Later on, yeah, it's okay. Now, is... I see why this, well, one this one's overplayed. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't overplayed to me. But I definitely had heard yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, because it's, it's more it, of the upbeat type one. Just yeah. Now you yeah, got the title track, song. Center Point Road. I actually don't mind this one. This is one of my favorite tracks. This one's okay. I don't yeah. like this one. Okay. Okay. Not big on country, but like there's some and songs. This one had a feature too, Kelsey Ballerini, who I've heard of. I don't know anything yeah, about her. Yeah, I think she was fine in it. It was a fun track, I'd say. Again, one of my first. Where, where the fuck was she at? Oh, wait, no, never mind. She, what do you mean, where was she? She was in the track. Come on, man. So, what's after that? That old truck. I like this Th- song. That's my favorite this one. It's actually it's that old truck. I'd say, yeah. Okay. This one's literally as country as I it get fucking the gets. Gets. I literally just put country. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I get as the, country as I get the nostalgia in, like, what he's singing about. Right. So I yeah, it's like it. your first memories with your first car, yeah. in a way. Yeah, this one like so like, has a, it's, it's just really a truck. Like, it actually has a theme, this song. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I, I, I really like enjoy this one. That's like one of the few I'd actually add to my playlist overall. A lot of pop country songs. I have all of these on my fucking playlist, so. A lot of pop country songs just kind of feel empty. Like, they don't sound like they're saying anything. But when it's a song that actually has a theme to it or like a story is telling, that is listenable. That's why country. That's when country works to me. Yeah, exactly. Which is why a lot of older stuff just appeals to me more. Just singing about certain things in a country accent and way doesn't really make it feel like country music. It's gotta be, like, I don't know. Yeah. This one, this next one, VHS, is a little really up. 
be in like, this is like this is so yeah. fucking yeah. poppy. This feels so like it's so stands for very hot summer. But, so I remember, yeah. but it's so poppy. I remember it the most because of that. Yeah. For some reason, yeah. that is well, that's kind of what he does. That's kind of what he does a lot. He'll make like, like these real catchy kind of. This fucking is an obscure joke, it, but, but this yeah. is like it gives off the Wawa Hoagie Fest songs vibe. It does. Like it, it is. Does. It's very Dude, reminiscent. I was gonna say that. Like earlier this morning, <laughs> earlier this morning, I remember listening to. It, I was like, "This sounds Wait, like Wawa." Wa- yeah, on. like this <laughs> sounds like I'm fucking here at work while I was working. I'm yeah, sure I, I did I hear these that. songs while I was working at Wawa. Wa- Wa- I 100 Wa- percent probably did. But like, I it's so funny you said that because remember this remember this morning I was like this sounds like a Symptopia song. This like, <laughs> sounds like a Hoagie Fest song. This one this one actually has another theme to it. Notice. Yeah. I like Notice too. This one this one's uh, Megan's favorite song. Okay, mm. this is a good one. That's this how I, that's really how I found out about Thomas Rush because she was like asking what we like when we first started talking we talked about music. She's like, oh, I really like Thomas Rush. And I was like, which favorite song? She sent me that one. Okay. That's not a bad one. Sand. Sand. Eh, I hate sand. sand. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough. Yeah. Not like you. This one, the next, one, <laughs> next one's a good drinking song. Beer, beer can't, can't fix. fix. I thought this one was goofy. I kind of like this goofy, song. It's goofy, but it's like a good drinking beer. song. It's something you're going to listen to when you're fucking I really drunk. don't know how all country artists love beer that much to like make all these songs about it's it. It's just a stereo. Because like, it really doesn't... Like, eh. Beer's kind of ass. Like, <laughs> I don't know. You find it the beer listeners. The next one is another one of Megan's favorite songs. It's Things You Do For Love. This one's cute, but it's yeah. okay. But the chorus, he's Very just repeating the same thing over and over. Yeah, again. I wasn't things a big fan. Things you do for love, love, things you do for love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. All yeah. It like half the lyrics are probably things you do for love. Yeah, it was. Uh, okay. Remember you young. Uh, I don't remember this one. Yeah, I don't really get what I was trying <laughs> to say. I was listening to that one. I I didn't really. Not a big fan of that one either. Uh, don't stop driving. Another country one. Yeah, this one's alright too. Last section of the album kind of was it just falls off for me yeah, yeah it, was it, it was just a blend uh, then we got barefoot which uh, yeah another really another barefoot. it's another a dance song, song. Yeah. it's alright dream you never had dream yeah. I never listened to this yeah it's <laughs> not memorable yeah I never had a dream about this song almost one almost the, is another one of my favorites almost wanted to drive that old truck off a bridge Oh, <laughs> that's what. I well, what you gotta do is <laughs> what you gotta do is you gotta get some don't beers. Don't stop driving that, that old and truck. Then you gotta <laughs> yeah, get yeah, old truck. Then you gotta get an old truck. Don't stop driving until you <laughs> yeah. almost. Don't threaten me with wait a good time. Until you're, oh, <laughs> wait until you're at the center <laughs> road, and then you <laughs> <laughs> then you go. Up, How about you drive off the center road? Yeah, you get, and you, you notice get, you get your few beers. There's a barefoot beer. Can there's a barefoot beer, beer can. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> And then when you finally meet God, you get to see look what God gave her, and you're blessed. <laughs> is that the end of the album? Because you can go up to the heaven. <laughs> yeah, almost is the last song. Okay, good. Because I was about to say, what just happened? <laughs> we were telling the story of the album. That's uh, telling the story of the Center Point almost, Road. Almost at least did have like a point to it as well. Like, yeah. Like, uh, um, Again, another song that I probably yeah, actually had to a playlist. Didn't really feel like a... Like, out, like a closing like track a on an album. Yeah. The album itself didn't feel like it had structure to it. Like it, it was just songs thrown in there. It was just there. songs, a mixture Which, of songs. I mean, that's not a bad thing if that's what you're going for, just songs thrown in there. Because usually that's what country artists are going for. Yeah, you're just like. throwing all the songs in, a, in an album. Yeah. But Final Wait, Clause... Wait, what the fuck? Is, his name's Thomas Rhett Atkins Jr.? Well, there That's you, his full fucking name? Yeah. Apparently. So, Jake, Wait, so Rhett is his middle name? Apparently. Why didn't we do this in the beginning? Why didn't I fucking Google this in the beginning? Well, what's your final, final thoughts, thoughts on the album? album. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Kind of bad. There, there's a couple good songs on there. Yeah. But I, but I hate country. So, I, feel like I don't we all know. Have I don't, feelings I feel like we all yeah. feel about the same about this album. I only like listen to this album because it pops up all the time on my playlist. And I'm just like, eh, fuck it. Maybe I'll listen to it. Maybe I won't. Yeah. But it always pops up after the most hardcore metal like mm-hmm. open portals to hell. So you're just not. To a like a love song. It's the weirdest you're fucking transition. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh okay. Let's play this with the Okay, let me tone it back now. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead back in the. God damn, what the fuck? I'll go real quick. It's. Eh. Like, it's very much like that country that I don't listen to. But again, there is songs in here I do like, so. 
It's not a bad album. It's just... I was gonna give it a higher score, but I don't think it's for me. He has catchy point. songs. Yeah. So, yeah. Zach, final thoughts real quick? I'm gonna give it a five. Oh, oh well, we weren't doing rating. scores yet, but... Uh, oh. Oh. Alright, well, that's fine. Why is it a five? I feel like this is the most, like, mid-album we, we've we listened to, only because I just cannot distinguish this album from any other generic pop country album. Yeah. I cannot. And that's why I'm giving it a five because I don't think it's terrible. Yeah. And I don't think it's like the the best thing ever. I think it is just so incredibly mid. It just kind of blends in with the rest of pop country. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll hop into scores. Uh, I, I didn't mean to hit you with my score. Yeah. Yeah. Jake, what do you rank it? What do I gotta go first? Well, you picked it. Technically, I went first. Oh, yeah. Zach, jump. Don't give me. Don't uh, give me. Give me up. No, fuck this up. Uh. Get a four point five. All right, five ish. I don't know. Somewhere around there. That's why I said it's like mid. I was gonna give it a five. I mean a four and a half too. Okay. Four point five. Like it's catchy. Uh, I'm gonna go middle with five. Like very okay album, but the only thing that makes it like above a four for me is like I do like some of the tracks on here. Like not even just like eh, they're I could listen to that. It's like said, damn, these are actually good. I was gonna say I don't like to give. <laughs> Like pop albums, I like I just said. Of most yeah. pop albums, like too low of a score or too high of a score because pop music is like it's supposed to be a certain way and it's made a specific way that it all is kind of supposed to sound very similar. Yeah. So, like, there's good and better pop music, but like a lot of this, like, especially country pop, most of it I cannot d- distinguish from each other. That's why it's mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what do you got for us this week? Um,. BTS. So, <laughs> BTS. Yeah. yeah. Let's get even further into I it. Will resign. Our first BTS album. No. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I wanted to pick. This is an album I, we talked about. Oh, no, on, one of these. Oh, on the, the album review before, right? and on the Wu Tang episode, oh. I brought it up. Uh, we're going to be doing House of Pain's oh. House of Pain, the self-titled oh. album, oh, their shit. first album. Like, yeah, okay. It's called Fine Malt Lyrics, I think is like the secondary title of the album. All right. But, I've listened to a couple songs off this album, but I, yeah, this will be a fun episode. Yeah. 